Comparing two lists can be a tedious task, especially when you have huge lists. I will do everything with small lists so you can see the results easily, but the tricks are the same. Conditional formatting is a great tool, but uh, what you do is usually that you use a formula. You highlight the range that you want to format conditionally. You go to the Home tab, Conditional Formatting, and then a new rule. And usually you go to use a formula to determine what you want to format. And then you type your formula here, and you set your format. What Usually a fill color, but sometimes a font color, that is up to you. I did a fill color. So what is the formula I put in there? Equals count if. D2 through D20, make sure that you do that with string signs, those dollar signs. You can type them or use F4 after you have clicked or typed D2. Use F4, 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 um, just to make sure that it has the correct string signs and locks the D and locks the 2. Comma A2. So you are going to check that with A2. That A2 is not locked. That means it's going to do that first for the that you do that first for A2 and then A3 and then A4 because it's not locked. So this was the formula. Then I did it for the second list. And again I used the count if function, lock A2 through A19. D2 in this case will go from D2, D3, D4, and it will find Johnson and Stevens A as new people. But usually your list have many more columns, so you want to compare several columns. So in this case I'm just going to highlight only the new values in the second list. So I highlight the entire list and I go to conditional formatting, etc. And in this case we do again a very simple formula equals G2 is not equal to A2. So because they are both not locked it will go from G2 through H2, I2, and then I3, I4, etc. And it found these values as different, and these two people are in a different department, and that name has been changed. This was very easy, an easy formula, because my tables have the same size and the same order. If that is not the case, then that trick will not work. You get a mess. So you have to use a more complicated version. And there are many ways again, but I used the OR function. OR will evaluate to true if one of the elements is true, and we want to make sure that it's false. So what do we do? We take F2, but we lock only F, not the 2. So you want to do it for F3, F4, F5, and you combine that. You concatenate that with ampersand sign G2, ampersand sign H2. If you have four columns, you need one more ampersand. And if that is the same as anywhere in the range of A2 through A18, okay, ampersand, that means hook it onto B2 through B18, and C2 through C18, and if it finds an equivalent, then it's not false, or gives you true, one equivalent. But if it's false, I want to find you. So for instance, Frommer has everything the same except the salary. So that one should be highlighted. And the same for the other guys, they have something different from the original list. Even though you have more people in the list, for instance, Stevens A is a new employee and should be highlighted. It does not tell you what has changed, so that will be a manual adjustment. You can also use a very simple trick. That is probably what you would prefer. You select both tables. Don't include the labels in this case because you don't want to highlight those.
Hold your control key, select your second table. I told you here what to do, you go to conditional formatting, the top bottom rules, go to more rules, format only unique or duplicate values. What do you want to format, the duplicate ones or the unique ones? I'm going to do the unique ones. Give it a format, I'm going to use the fill, fill color and I use for instance, that color to see the difference. OK it, OK it, and you will see it did a very easy, perfect job. And, and the nice part is that it also finds what has changed and not the entire record. Then if you want to do a, a different trick, you could put a new column in here and use a formula. And the formula looks a little complicated and I have to warn you it is going to be an array function. That means you have to do control shift A. You do that for each record and then you copy it down. You put in that cell D2 in this case the following formula. If and then the OR function again. If A2 every G equals F2 through F18. So that means that the full name has to be unique. If, the, if you have many Buca P's, then use a column that has a social security number or another kind of identifier. Comma, if C2, that is the salary, for we are just checking salaries this time, equals, and then you look up the salary of that person, A2, in the range F2 through H18, that includes also the salary column, look in the third column, and make it an exact match. If you don't find anyone, comma, double quotes, double quotes, don't put anything in there. Otherwise, we look up. A2, F2 for H18, that's the same one. Give me that value that you found in the second list. Otherwise, NA, open close parentheses, that means I'm, I'm going to put in there the NA function, like in this case, lively S. Don't forget to accept that formula with Control, Shift, Enter. If you don't do that, then you may not get the right results. So I have to redo that again. I click in the formula bar. I forgot to do Control shift enter so I'm going to do it now. Copy that formula down and it will find two new salaries and one person doesn't have that salary anymore because that person is not in the new list. That formula works great even if you sort by salaries. So the two lists don't have to be sorted the same way. I'm going to sort by salaries, data, sort from A to Z. This list was completely rearranged, but the end results are still the same. Then one more trick. Sometimes you want to also remove the duplicates. So you had two lists originally. I added to the first list all the people from the second list by just copy and paste and add them in there. So you have a lot of duplicates in there. You combine the two lists. Then you select that combined list. You go to data, remove duplicates. And in this case you want to make a particular column, so you select all the columns and you click on OK. And it tells you that 15 duplicates have been found and removed and 21 are left. And these are the ones left. So for instance, from two times. And you have to decide that is a manual option which salary is correct now. Smithers two times. You have to find out what is different and what is the correct one now. And then we have lively was added. 
because that one didn't exist before, and Stevens J was added. Those are some simple tricks of comparing two different lists. I wish you good luck with it.